I just watched the CRP video link below and it's a good video. It's about laughing at your insecurities and what you see as shortcomings and not being embarrassed by them, being able to function properly without, um, without fictionalizing things that don't really matter. And I wasn't going to make this video, but something popped into my mind that I think should be stated, an addendum to his video in terms of an overarching thing that many men unconsciously, if not consciously, could relate to in the insecurity department. And CRP was quite rightly talking about getting over irrelevant insecurities. Like in his case, he was insecure about his lazy left eye and it took him a long time to overcome that insecurity, to be quite flippant about it and get over that bridge because he, as he said in his video, he was, it caused him a lot of anguish publicly because he remembers a time where he wouldn't act like himself because he was aware of his, of his insecurities and almost shamefulness about what he thought to be a deficiency until he overcame it and realized it was nothing. It was all in his head predominantly. And I wanted to touch on something that wasn't touched on in that video that is an overarching elephant in the room for most guys today living in a wholly female world and directed towards females. It's that the insecurity isn't personal. It's something innate today. Most men are made to feel either consciously and also unconsciously, reflexively insecure about the deficiency of being simply male. More precisely, the axiom peddles to us all of being embarrassed about masculinity, being insecure about masculinity. And CRP was talking about personal insecurities, where he had his lazy eye. For myself, I remember when I was a teenager, I had very, very bad skin. I was always hiding from the world and embarrassed to speak to people because I had acne, you know, cystic acne, where I wouldn't go out into public, wouldn't go out with my friends because it was so bad. That's different. But today, every single man, figuratively speaking, is made to feel in a similar way, very, very embarrassed and apologetic of simply being born the way he is. Again, not boo-hooing any of this. I'm saying the underlying insecurities that are getting baked in over the last couple of generations, we're coming out of the womb, not just teaching men this, but it's it's like saying the sky is blue these days, that men should apologize and qualify everything by being sorry that they're male. I mean, you don't get men qualifying a statement by saying as a man and then confidently making their point. It's the opposite. It's apologizing for being a man and then begging to be heard and accepted. This is the insecurity that I think many men feel today, even if they can't consciously articulate it. Men are laughing at themselves to disarm the people around them so they can be accepted. And it's not like where you have a scar on your face and you're trying to be bigger than it and get over a superficial insecurity that you personally have that others don't really feel as much as you. No, this is a widely accepted insecurity. This is a clownish thing that all men these days tend to feel, aside from the few more confident men, where they're apologizing for being masculine. They, th they think they're apologizing for being male. They're actually apologizing for potentially exuding any kind of masculinity. You can be a male walking around, that's fine, but don't exude anything away from the female archetype. Don't say or animate anything from yourself as a man that might suggest masculinity, that may suggest anything away from the female. You must act female, and anything other than that is deemed as clownish, embarrassing masculinity. And CRP talks about how the best way to get over an insecurity is to laugh at it in front of others because you might be able to gain some empathy and sympathy from others. It shows you humanity and then people can connect with you more. Here is the big difference. You can't apologize for being masculine because there's no empathy or sympathy to be had from females. They cannot empathize with being a man and they do not have any sympathy with masculinity, only contempt. And everything we see here and is directed to us in the censorious nature of everything, including channels, media, 
how we're able to speak. A lot of things I've described in my last video about censoring ourselves illustrates this. There's no point debasing yourself by making a joke of your masculinity, gentlemen, of your maleness, because there's no sympathy or empathy to be had. Furthermore, the majority of women out there are awful at the abstraction of sympathy. Unless it's self-referentially female, they cannot understand the language and they do not see the point. You cannot debase yourself as a man to qualify anything you want to say because there's no sympathy to be had by anybody who's not male. So yes, laugh at your own irrelevant insecurities, your superficial ones, to get over something you know you shouldn't feel uneasy about. But don't laugh at yourself to be accepted by them as a man or a masculine man. Laugh at their insecurities of you. Laugh at their insecurities of masculinity, not laughing at your masculinity. Understand the difference, gentlemen. Masculinity is not an insecurity you should be ashamed of, you should laugh at, you should joke about, and debase yourself around so that you can get the acceptance of gynocentrism of women of society. It's not your insecurity, it's theirs. They're, they are projecting in the hopes that you will self-abase and then they will pat you on the head and throw you the crumbs of affection. No, masculinity is self-respect, self-sufficiency. It's self-confidence as a male. And that's why they want you to be embarrassed of it. That's why they want you to relinquish it. For without that, you've got nothing. They have you. I mean, you may as well be embarrassed by Aristotle or Marcus Aurelius or philosophy. Masculinity is not your insecurity, gentlemen. It's theirs. And I would contend masculinity is about the only thing that will save you as a compass in today's world. Without it, you're finished. Don't remove your strongest piece from your chessboard just because the girls are taunting you. Do not be apologetic of that. You may as well be apologetic of your best friends or parents who love you. Masculinity is not your insecurity, gentlemen. I just thought I'd add that. Something to think about. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Feel free to link and share my videos around and don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. If you want to say thanks, there are donation options below this content. I really appreciate it. Cheers.